Hello, so this is a uh, video response to Girl Painting's Korgoroth Head Swapped Conversion. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you for making that video. Um, I mean, obviously there's a lot of places I can get inspiration from, and although it's not like the most miraculous idea, um, I did take inspiration from that, and I'd like to show you mine. Now I have primed and, and base coated it, um, but I did actually complete one, the, the original one. I've actually got four of these now because I've bought two sets and I've swapped the Stormcast for uh, corn. Um, so this is my second Korgoroth. Now I can't really show you the green stuff obviously because it's all been primed. Um, but I'm currently building a greater demon called Bloodthirster and it does come with three different heads. Obviously I only need the one head. Um, so. I took the second favourite head for the uh, Greater Demon of Corn, and uh, it actually went on very well. There was no cutting required. Um, all I really needed to do was just. Sorry, I'm really not good with the camera views, um, but you just kind of glue the head on, and it creates creates a gap um, just on on his left. And then what I did is I did about three applications of liquid green stuff. Um, it's the first time I've ever used liquid green stuff um, and obviously I'm aware that the thinner something is the better it works um, so oh sorry I didn't do it go straight and I actually went in with because um, it was quite a big hole um, so I filled the majority of the hole with um, uh, I think it's li uh, Vallejo plastic putty uh, and I used it because it comes in a little nozzle and what I was able to do was just squirt a tiny bit out and then just get an old tooth, uh, old paintbrush and I just painted it in and then when I got it nearly right I applied just a little thin layer of um, liquid green stuff and then when that dried another layer and I think it took three or four layers um, but in response there's there's my Korgoroth um, I will be planning another one um, because obviously by the time you built your third Korgoroth um, the tentacles there are beginning to get a bit samey so what I'm looking at doing is actually perhaps taking the whole arm off um, I've got some spare bits from a demon print so I may possibly look at adding that but but yeah there it is there's my second Korgoroth I mean obviously he's not painted yet um, and I think he looks pretty gruesome I'm, I'm really pleased with that oops just dropped him didn't break him though so um, yeah what I'll do is I'll make a video when I've painted him um, and we'll see what he comes out like. So, thank you very much.